and Jeff starts now. Good afternoon, I'm Sierra Whaley. Today on Up North at 4, if you are wondering if you and your family can watch the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, yes, you can. We take a look at some legendary throwback picks. Plus, if you can't see Santa this year, don't worry, he's just a phone call away. We have another small business here in Rhinelander that you can support virtually. And we are curious, what did you play at school when you were younger? We've seen some interesting recess activities. We'll get to all of that in a bit, but first, here's your top four at four. Thanksgiving travel this year has not decreased and more families are getting on the road. About one million Americans a day packed airports and planes over the weekend, even as coronavirus deaths surged across the U.S. However, more families are hopping in the car to get on the road to see family, but health officials warn even if you're driving to still avoid those big family gatherings. The U.S. Department of Agriculture is reminding everyone of proper food handling practices this holiday season. The USDA is reminding cooks to not wash their raw poultry. They have tips on how to prepare your turkey and how to even store your leftovers. Each year, millions of Americans get sick from foodborne illness, resulting roughly 128,000 hospitalizations and 3,000 deaths. We have another local small business that you can support virtually on the holidays. Art Start decided to start a virtual holiday market, making it easier and safer for consumers to purchase art. The virtual holiday market will begin December 4th through the 6th through their Facebook page. They're encouraging the community to keep local artists in mind. Did you know that this year you can phone Santa? Many of us won't see him in person to submit our requests, so he's created a special hotline. Vilas County Community posted on Facebook that you can submit your request to Santa via phone. He will answer right away, welcoming you and reminding you how much he cares. But watch out, he's still keeping an eye on who's been naughty or nice. So Jeff, what's going on with the weather? Hey Sierra, happy Wednesday. Well, here's a live look at Lake Tomahawk right now where the uh, water is like glass with no wind out there. Uh, we'd be building some ice if we could, but temperatures are slightly above freezing right now. Over at the Mackinac Bridge, you can see here some cloud cover and open waters for sure on those waters, uh, windy in that condition as well. And here's a live look over here in Sheboygan out into Lake Michigan. Some cloud cover and some fog. Get used to the fog. We'll get back in that tonight into tomorrow morning. It's going to be a foggy 24 hours around here as we have lots of moisture in the area. Lots of clouds and fog out there today. Uh, a little bit of drizzle in a few spots, but temperatures are doing what they're supposed to do this time of year. It's 33 in Rhinelander under cloudy skies, a north breeze at 3, and a dew point there of 30. So as the temperature meets the dew point, you get fog out of that. We'll get some more fog around here tonight. Over in Wausau, 34 for you with a dew point there of 34 as well. And the pressure is steady. There are no major systems coming our way anytime soon. Around the Horn, you can see everybody's having a near average day today. Uh, uniform temperatures for sure. 34 Provida, 35 Wapaka, 33 Anago, 35 Marshfield. You get the idea. And this will be that way tonight as we'll have low temperatures down near 30 for most everybody with lots of cloud cover and fog around. All right, here we go. Here are the averages. It's 33 right now in Rhinelander. It's also the average high temperature this time of year. The record low, though, is 9 below back in 1950, a very cold winter. Uh, and the sun sets at 418. It's getting sooner and sooner, of course, every day. All right, so we're trying to build a little bit of heat across the Midwest right now. North Platte, over toward Oakley, over toward Dodge City. Uh, that's pretty much going to stay there, though. We are under the influence of Canadian air right now. That will keep things cold across the Great Lakes, or at least... Uh, uh, where temperatures should be this time of year uh, going through the holiday weekend. All right, here's the trend though. So 39 tomorrow, we'll take it. 35 for Friday, 41 though for Saturday, not really a heat wave. And then still lots of signs pointing toward a big cool off next week. That should hold high temperatures below freezing for a long stretch that'll most likely begin to freeze uh, the lakes that have not already frozen out there next week. Okay, there's lots of rain today across southeastern parts of Wisconsin, generally south of Green Bay. Uh, from what's left of our system that came through yesterday that brought us some snow to Portage County or to Wood County or Packer County. Uh, that's now rain today across the south and basically pulling away 
Uh, we will get into lots of cloud cover tonight and some locally dense fog tonight. So if you're traveling and lots of you are traveling, uh, keep your low beams on this evening with that dense fog across the area. Already visibility reduced to, to less than a couple miles or so in a few spots. But again, this will only get worse this evening as the fog does thicken up. As we have this low pulling away, that high pressure building in, this will bring us a bit of snow, just a little bit of snow for us on really into Sunday. Other than that, though, we'll be dry through the Thanksgiving holiday tomorrow. Your forecast tonight, though, is probably cloudy skies or mostly cloudy skies. Lots of fog out there with lows down near 30. Your full forecast at 5 o'clock. There's a new champ in town. Let me tell you, he's good, so gear up. Could be a runaway. Here we go. Could be a close game. Came to you in the nick of time. Go again. Find out on Jeopardy. Something to look forward to. Weekdays at 4.30 on NBC 12. Hi, my name's Chad. I went and saw a neurologist and had several MRIs, and they found out that I had spinal neuropathy. The neurologist at the hospital decided that the only treatment was medication. I didn't find that acceptable, so I called Spinal Aid to get a free consultation. After working with Spinal Aid, I'm able to walk, I'm able to sleep, I have balance, my overall comfort of life is 100% better. Are you experiencing weakness, numbness, and or pain in your feet or hands? These sensations might even be affecting other areas of your body along with your balance. You might have already been diagnosed with peripheral neuropathy and are taking drugs such as Lyrica, Gabapentin, or Cymbalta that never seems to help. Neuropathy pain ultimately diminishes your quality of life. The Spinal Aid Center of Wausau can help relieve the symptoms of your neuropathy. Call Spinal Aid of Wausau today to see if our treatment methods are right for you. Call 715-203-1508 to schedule your neuropathy severity consultation. Northland Basement Systems is the all things basementy company. Basement waterproofing, basement finishing, basement structural repair, humidity and mold control, and nasty crawl spaces too. When it comes to basement solutions, nobody does it better than we do. Since 1991, homeowners just like you in the Northland have trusted Northland Basement Systems for all things basementy in their homes. Call Northland Basement Systems today to schedule a free home evaluation. Next summer, the games return for an Olympics unlike any other. You're watching Up North at 4. It's Wednesday. Grab yourself a cup of tea or coffee because it's tea time here in the Northwoods. Okay, so now I'm sure a lot of people have been wondering, will the Macy's Day Thanksgiving Day Parade happen? Mm -hmm. um, yes, it's going to happen. But so it's on TV tomorrow. It is going to happen, yes. Got it. Um, but I want to know first, Jeff, who are your favorite characters? Oh, oh. All right, so Dr. Seuss. Okay. Uh, Elf on the Shelf. Okay. And I also like uh, Trolls. Which um, the movie Trolls? They yeah. have they've been in there. Garfield is a good one too. Garfield's a classic. SpongeBob. That's my favorite. <laughs> That's your favorite. SpongeBob no is idea. it. <laughs> yes. So um, we uh, yeah I just love him. But let's just take a look at some throwback characters in the parade. So to start here, Jeff, um, on West 77th Street, they started with Superman. Yeah. Um, did you like Superman? Uh, yes, 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 Okay. Yes. Um, and so with this clip, what they did, they filled in older characters on West 77th where the parade would start. Oh, so, I, okay, I see what's going on here. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, and so they just have a couple of things to see. They have Snoopy. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's definitely a fave. Did you like Snoopy? Yeah, that puts you in the holiday spirit. Absolutely. Snoopy's kind of dressed up, yeah. And I feel like, you know, when people think of these characters that they're just characters, but they actually mean a lot to us. Um, so why was Trolls one of your faves? Oh, uh, A, I love the movies. Uh, okay. And then that song by Justin Timberlake, uh, I, is, I Got a Feeling. Is that your song? Yes. Like, that's the one you just kind of like, you know, you put on and put yourself in a good mood. So so every day, like, if you put that on, that you're That's good. the one. That's okay. the song. All right. So he, SpongeBob, he's he's my fave. Just, I've loved him why? since. I, I've loved him since I was little. He's always happy, you know? So it's like, hey, I need a little bit of happiness So is SpongeBob like The Simpsons that have been around forever? Like, how old is SpongeBob? Basically, you know what? I don't want to be quoted on the wrong year it started because okay. I'll have some SpongeBob fans <laughs> coming from me. You'll have some haters. Yes. <laughs> so let's just take a look at uh, this next video here. It's just continuing. So there is Popeye. I love Popeye. Yeah, Popeye. You know, you can't go wrong. He actually Grew up made with me. Popeye. Yeah, he made me like spinach. What about you? You like spinach? Yes, and I do actually like spinach. <laughs> okay. I do, which was weird. My All mother right. 
Joe thought it was strange. Oh, <laughs> and so here, this is a little piggy. I don't know what market he's going into. Do you do you know about that one? No, not all at right. all. Yeah, there's some really old ones here, and I think it's really cool though. But I'm I not like sure. what they did here. The kind of yeah. the, uh, you know interfacing the old with the new. Uh, and so, th but the show's going on. Like there yes. is a parade tomorrow. Yes. It's gonna be on NBC. I yes, think. Yes, so it's starting at nine o'clock, okay. like in all time zones. Yeah. So um, you know everybody can tune in for that. That's a tradition for me. So. And tomorrow's a bit different too. We have you know that going on, mm -hmm. but I think football has been canceled tomorrow. A lot of football yes. games have been canceled tomorrow. Uh, so that'll weird. be a little bit different that we're not going to experience that on Thanksgiving Day. Yes, exactly. Um, so Jeff, I wanted to know. Oh geez. <laughs> <laughs> what are three things that you are grateful for this Thanksgiving? Three things I'm grateful for. Okay, yes. so you at home know I'm thankful I, I got through COVID, uh, although there's still a couple underlying things going on there. Absolutely. Uh, that was that was a little iffy there for a little while, and that's uh, it's so to you at home, please don't get this. Uh, it's not a fun thing to deal with at all. Yes. Uh, I'm thankful for my family, mm -hmm. who is still close by. Everybody's together. Mm -hmm. We're all we all love each other still, yeah. even as we get older. Uh, I'm also thankful for probably you know uh, Theo, my dog, entered my life this year as well. Oh. So he's uh, he's quite the character, and he makes everybody happy around here for sure. Absolutely. You. Oh, so what am I thankful for? Yes. Yeah, so first, definitely life. Mm -hmm. um, very appreciative. It's so precious, and I think this year we've definitely seen that even more. Mm -hmm. um, secondly, my family, friends who've supported me. Um, but my major thing I'm thankful for is my WJFW fam. Yeah. Um, it's really hard to be away from home, and so it's it's a lot easier when home feels like it's it's here. Yeah, still. and for those of you who don't know, at home, you know, we're a pretty close knit group of people who we work are. here. It's yeah. not a huge team, exactly. uh, but we all seemingly like each other. Right. And when we don't, we don't tell each other. Yes. <laughs> you know, so it's one of those where <laughs> it's, it's like family. it's one of those work environments that just work, Absolutely. right? And we enjoy kind of being around each other. And it's been different, of course, this year where we haven't been able to go out for beers after work and all yeah. sorts of stuff. But you know, we do what we can when we can. One day again, and one thing I know you'll be thankful for too exactly. is my sweet potato pie. Ah, oh, jeez. I'm gonna do it. This sweet potato thing. All right, so get up into next, it. Um, we have another chamber check-in for more holiday activities for you and your family. Community leaders ensure it'll be a fun holiday season. We'll be right back. This pandemic has been hard, and to that I say, not today, 2020. Happy today. I love all of you. Thank you so much. do you give away on your show, Jimmy? Very funny, Ellen. <laughs> Ellen, weekdays at 3 p.m. Moon Deer and Friends Gallery in downtown Boulder Junction offers an eclectic mix of contemporary fine art and craft, antiques, professional custom frame service, and many other smaller gift items, featuring the work of gallery owner Sarah Mender, as well as over 150 other regional artists. Time to start it up, America. You've got a lot of joy to make. And we're kicking off the Ford Built for the Holidays sales event because you've got turkeys to fry and thanks to give. It's our thing. So we're giving you incredible deals on the Built Ford Top F-150 and Ford Ranger. That'll make a lot of joy this season. Ford, built for the holidays. Now lease the Built Ford Top F-150 STX for just $2.99 a month during the Ford Built for the Holidays sales event at your Wisconsin dealer. Considering an online pharmacy? Explore BeSafeRx to find useful information and resources to help you purchase medicines safely online. A safe online pharmacy requires a doctor's prescription, has an address in the United States, has a licensed pharmacist, and is licensed by a state pharmacy board. It's best to stay away from online pharmacies that don't meet these criteria. Discover more helpful tips and resources at BeSafeRx. Go to FDA.gov slash BeSafeRx. Return for an Olympics unlike any other. Thanks for tuning back into Up North at Four. I am here with Amy Thomason, Director of Phelps Chamber of Commerce. Amy, how are you this morning? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. Um, so yeah, we're just checking in with uh, Phelps Chamber of Commerce, of course, seeing what you ha what you guys have going on for the holiday season. Um, what's something that the community needs to look out for? Yeah, so we um, have several opportunities for the community to give back. 
um, to those that are in need this holiday season. Definitely wanted to mention those. Um, we've got the Phelps Fire Department and Auxiliary Department um, are doing the Phelps Santa Project again this year. Um, and that they're accepting donations through that through December 1st. Um, we've also, of course, partnering with Travel Wisconsin again this year for the big bundle up. And we're going to be doing that and collecting those donations through January 5th here at the Phelps Chamber of Commerce. We've even got a box outside for contactless donation if those people prefer or for those after hours donations when maybe we're not here in the office. Um, and again, that's going to go through January 5th. Uh, the Sweet Streets and More Shop here in downtown Phelps um, there'll be lots of Christmassy ice creams and all kinds of Christmas things. Um, so to shop local um, and you know be able to support our small businesses, that will be opening this weekend, which everybody's really excited about. Um, and then the um, auxiliary Phelps Auxiliary is also sponsoring a Letters to Santa program. There'll be a box downtown where kids can drop off their Letters to Santa and maybe even get a response back, which I think is really exciting. I know my kids are excited about that. Absolutely. Um, and then lastly, here at the Chamber, we are going to be a Toys for Tots donation box as well. So if you you know out shopping and you see, a, see an extra toy, definitely think about dropping it off here at the Chamber. Um, and I know lots of little kids' Christmases will be very happy if we can we can get some toys for that. So a lot, I guess a lot going on here in the community and just trying to support everybody as much as we can. Wow, that's amazing. So, I mean, uh, what's something I guess you would want to just tell the community um, just how important it is to make sure that you're getting out there and supporting these local businesses. I mean, they're, um, they're literally our neighbors, but they're the people that are keeping our towns going. They really, really are. And I think that, you know, I mean, if, if we think about in a normal year, how much our small businesses support us and all of our activities, um, all of our festivities, all of our events, our kids sports. Um, so I think now is the time for us to really think about how we can give back to them, whether that's, you know, buying a gift card from them for future use, um, finding ways to shop local for Christmas gifts, um, or just grabbing some carryouts when you know, we don't really feel like cooking and just really focusing on finding ways to support those small businesses because they're what make our community so great. They're the ones that are going to be the first ones to, to support us. So it's now our time to support them, which I think is pretty awesome that we have that chance to do that. Absolutely. And, and one more thing with the letters for Santa, um, is there going to be a certain wait time or, you know, are the kids supposed to expect it within like one to two business days or something? Um, you know, I think I would, I would venture to say traveling from the North Pole is going to take a little bit of time. So I would say okay. probably about a week um, turnaround time in that just because that is, a, that is a long trip back and forth from the North Pole. So I would say probably about a week. So you're telling us to get our letters in ASAP, basically. Yes, for sure. You don't want to miss out. <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you so much, Amy, for talking with me. We really appreciate it. We look forward to getting an update as well. Um, we will have more for you on Up North at 4 next. Holiday Marketplace from 9 till 2 at the Community Center, November 28th. Shop Small Saturday. And the Jingle Bell 3K Fun Run starts at 4 p.m. Register at stgermain.com. The Boondocks in Monaco, Wisconsin is being sold to the highest bidder regardless of price. December 12th, no reserve. Contact Brass and St. Louis Auctions for more details. Start on an affordable path to your bachelor's degree with the University Transfer Program at Nicolet College. Choose from three associate degrees or personalize a transfer plan to fit your interests. You can even earn your degree entirely online. Then transfer your credits or degree to any of the University of Wisconsin colleges or hundreds of other universities. By starting your education close to home, you'll save thousands in reduced tuition and housing. Nicolet College, the smartest start to your four-year degree. ELM Repair in Edgar is a family-owned and operated full-service diesel repair shop. From pickups to semi-trucks to heavy equipment and RV service. If it runs on diesel, we can repair it. Want more power and better mileage? Our experienced professionals will get your truck running and at peak performance. With a state-of-the-art dyno and fully stocked parts department, we can even come out to you with our 24-hour mobile repair service. ELM is always looking for passionate and talented people to join our team. The Diesel Doctor. Have it done right the first time at ELM Repair. New phone? Yep, I got a new one when I switched over to Spectrum Mobile. They're faster overall and more reliable. They all say that. It's just jibber-jabber. Jibber-jabber? Yeah, you know, balderdash. Hooey. What? Did you sense any flapdoodle? What is flapdoodle? I think it's like hemming and hawing. With a little bit of hogwash. No, they're just faster and more reliable. Okie dokie. No flim-flam. 
Spectrum Mobile gives you the fastest overall speeds and the most reliable service coast to coast. It's a better way to mobile. Spectrum Mobile. Our News Watch 12 News team works around the clock to bring you the news that matters most to the Northwoods. NBC News Watch 12, from where you live. Into up. Thanks for tuning in to Up North at 4. It's time for some Wednesday what? what? First up, what did you play at school? Well, this young man here wanted to lift his friends up, but not in a way you think. They're actual weights. <laughs> Th that's going to be uncomfortable. Yeah. But look at this, Jeff. You got to make the noises. He's going to, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, what is this? It's supposed to show off like your strength right now. Like, let me just hop on this stick right here. <laughs> it's, yeah, oh, he and it doesn't it. end. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? About and he just drops them. <laughs> and it's over. <laughs> it's like done. <laughs> That's funny. I like this one. Right? I mean, it, there's no hesitation with any of it. That's my thing. And these guys are they're well, yeah, they cheerleaders out, in the obviously. background. I mean, they're holding on. Oh, my But that's gosh. a lot of, I mean, it just That's got to be like, uncomfortable. Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he is so proud. And, and oh, one last one. One yeah. last one. Yes. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah, uh, so uh, that was interesting. Now, Jeff, I am that nosy person, and I want to know what the essentials are on your Thanksgiving plate. Oh, essentials? Yes. What so do you have to have? stuffing, really good stuffing. Okay. Mashed potatoes and gravy, corn and turkey. Huh. Okay. So simple, like right. very classic. Okay. You? Well, I really like rice and gravy, the turkey, and I have to have a I have to have a lot of gravy, um, and then roast beef and mac and cheese. <laughs> Roast beef and mac and cheese. Roast beef and mac That's and cheese. That's not traditional. It is traditional How did that in start? the Whaley household. Okay. <laughs> Who started that? Well, let's look at some unusual Thanksgiving dinner meals. Uh, first up, turkey jello. Have you heard of that? <laughs> it doesn't that look nasty. So apparently, this gelatin became what? a foundation in the 30s after the Great Depression, and apparently it's a great source of protein, but I don't think so I So this is that. like turkey drippings mixed in with gelatin and it's, made into jello? Yes, it's all Remember whole. Jigglers? Yes. Oh, those yes. are the best. So I don't know about that. Would you have that on your plate? No. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you would be the rude person. You're like, I don't think uh, I'm There was a, a Thanksgiving once, though, where I put, uh, I was making gravy and put too much cornstarch in, and it turned into something looking like that where it got really, like, you know, oh. very, very too Ooh. thick. Yeah. All right. Well, um, so I have another one. Um, it's uh, really nasty. It's hot Dr. Pepper. <laughs> it's not spicy hot. It's literally warmed See, up. Didn't we talk about Dr. Pepper yesterday? No, I love Dr. Pepper, but this here, so this started in the 60s, and you would literally make it steaming hot, add a couple of lemon wedges, and apparently it like brought strong profits during the holiday season. It was a major thing in the South. Um, occasionally and still oh. happens. I'm from the South though, and I've never, I've never done that. This is bringing back a bad memory because oh, uh, no. I was at a bar in Amherst years ago, uh -huh. and they had uh, flaming Dr. Peppers, where you drop a shot into Dr. Pepper, and then you, you do a thing, right? Oh. It's, a, it's a thing, and I didn't do too well. Yeah, <laughs> no, I don't know so if anyways. I could mix that because I don't know. That's my favorite soda. I don't Dr. really Pepper? drink a lot, but if it's I do. It's the one soda that diet Dr. Pepper tastes just like regular Dr. Pepper That to is me. true. Yes. That is true. So lastly, Jeff, uh, the pandemic, of course, is hitting us all in a different way. But we know now that this elementary school uh, created a student cutout. <laughs> uh, they, they literally miss their students so much that they <laughs> made cutouts across the playground. And I understand, you know, normalcy is missed, but that seems a little creepy to me. I don't know. So don't the know. faces are a little off. Okay, we're fine. But yeah. this is like... The what ballparks it did too, right? To kind of give viewers that feel that there's people there. And okay. look at even like shows like Ellen earlier. It has TV monitors with people in them, right? At their homes. So you gotta do what you gotta do. But I like but, this idea. Look, I mean, they got creative too. I mean, the, the, the guy I, on the monkey bar is hanging upside down. Yeah, That I was mean, perfect. I commend the artists, but like, I think I would get scared. Why? Because, you know, they're just they're that just would standing freak you out. out. It would freak me out. No. I would like on. just come out of the bathroom and then once behind me be like, oh. No, all in good fun. No. Okay. All in good fun. All right. Well, good. I, I just, I don't know. I can't do it. <laughs> um, don't be scared. <laughs> I would be scared. <laughs> um, so uh, that's it for Wednesday What? We will actually, we'll be right back. <laughs> No cell phones at the table. But it's Grandma. Hi, Mom. It's Summerland's biggest Thanksgiving sale in three years. You'll get an additional 25% off our already low prices at Summerland. It's here.
Black Friday every day at Menards. Doors open Friday at 6 a.m. These amazing deals last through December 6th. Give the gift of power and performance with this Master Force Drill and Impact Driver Kit. Just $119. This 22-foot aluminum multi-position ladder can be positioned in five different ways. On sale for $109. Check out these and more amazing Black Friday deals at Menards. Available in-store only while supplies last. Save big money at Menards. Music every weekend, never a cover, and drinks priced right. TV, pool, darts, and more. Happy's Pub in downtown Woodruff. This is an exciting time for people in central Wisconsin who suffer from hip and knee joint pain. With this innovative technology, we're able to offer patients a total joint replacement that is positioned to match their individual anatomy. We can perform with pinpoint accuracy and we're proud to introduce this technology. With 3D surgical planning and dynamic joint balancing, getting patients back to the things that they enjoy. Robotic arm assisted surgery for joint replacement at Bone and Joint. Call 800-445-6442. Need to get out with some space? Cabaret Cove offers a variety of ways to have the fun you desire. Enjoy football parties on the large screen with one of our homemade pizzas or amazing cheese curds. Plan your dinner with Cabaret Cove specials. Tuesday shrimp nights with a number of choices of how you like your shrimp. Wednesdays and Sundays enjoy roasted chicken with the sides you crave. And of course, Fish Fry Friday. Stop in for a delicious meal, live music, and a drink with great company. Cabaret Cove of Rhinelander. Rocking Wausau like never before. 1033 WGLX. NBC News Watch 12. News from where you live. With all this family fun time, you need a good night's sleep. Come to Slumberland's huge Thanksgiving mattress sale and get an extra 25% off our already low prices. Get the Sealy Posturepedic Queen Mattress for just $3.99, only at Slumberland. Before we go, in case you want to make sure that you are in those Thanksgiving Day pictures tomorrow, we might have a solution for you. This couple decided to make cut out versions of themselves and sent that to their it grandchildren. Looks so real. Yes, they wanted to ensure that they were going to be in that photo. And I, I think that's a great, great solution. Idea. What do you think about that? Uh, well, too late now, probably, but for Christmas, you can do this. Yes. Right? Yeah, I mean, I think that's perfect. Um, you can get all the angles that you want. So I just had a moment. Our floor director, said he likes tofu turkey. Yes. Is that a thing? It's a thing, but I've never tried it. I've actually never had tofu. Joey, is Am tofu late? turkey good? It's a thing. Oh, it's a thing. God but wait. tomorrow you get something special. So tomorrow you're making your sweet potato I pie. You, I would do Which it. I can't wait. I'm gonna bring in an apple pie as backup just in case, you know, I, I just in case just in case. Oh, you just did that? in case. Okay. And then <laughs> we're gonna have a nice little celebration here while we're social distancing. So. I'm looking forward to it. Um <laughs> That's, that's crazy. You just dissed me, Loki. <laughs> we gotta I, go. We'll right, see yeah. you at 5 o'clock, everybody. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> I can